Hello people of the interwebs, my name is Luke, and today I'm going to be talking to you about polymers. They are absolutely everywhere, from plastic bags all the way to the proteins in your body, you just can't escape them. And because there's so many types and uses, I'm just going to cover one specific section of polymers today. And as you may have already guessed by the video title, that is living polymers in nanomaterials and medicine. Where else can we find examples of polymer chemistry? Walt and Jesse are often seen wearing hazmat suits and respirators. Protect them from the various chemicals used and produced in the process. In the first series, Walt and Jesse are turning pseudofed tablets into meth. Pseudofed tablets are cold tablets, which contain pseudoephedrine, which has a similar structure to methamphetamine and so can be used to synthesise it. This method involves the use of anhydrous ammonia, which can build up into dangerously high levels during the process. Anhydrous ammonia is corrosive to skin. So according to the CDC, when levels of anhydrous ammonia are high, a totally encapsulated and chemically protective suit, aka a hazmat suit, should be worn. So to protect from chemical agents, a hazmat suit employs a range of polymers, such as PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene, as barrier materials. PTFE is an example of an addition or chain growth polymer, the first type of polymerization that I want to talk about in detail. The whole concept of monomers and polymers is often easier to visualize. If this chip fork represents a monomer unit with the pointed and smooth ends each representing a different functional group, then we can easily make a step growth polymer by linking various monomers together through condensation reactions. Many polymers are formed in this way, including polyamides like nylons. These can be used as film lids for various types of food packaging. However, polystyrene is formed through chain polymerization. Polystyrene is synthesized through a type of polymerization known as three radical chain polymerization. There are three main stages to this process in which multiple styrene monomer units are bound together to form the polystyrene molecule. This is a story about me and my bottle. Boy, I sure am thirsty. <laughs> we did everything together. Play chess, watch TV, you name it. Sometimes, he'd even come with me on my run. He was always there for me, and I was always there for him. Just what I needed. Nothing could separate me from my bottle, and this is our story. Oh, I'm sick of him leaving his mess lying around. Where's my bottle? 
Where's my bottle? Mum! What's the matter? Mum, I've lost my bottle. What, the plastic water bottle? Yeah, do you know where it's gone? I've just thrown it in the bin. It was empty. <gasps> it's bin day! Quick, Mum, we need to get to the tip and I can find my bottle. I'm going as quick as I can. I'm not going to break any rules. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, it's so busy. I don't think we're ever going to find it. Well, that's this man in a fluorescent jacket. <laughs> that's not a man.